Virtual assistants have become increasingly sophisticated and more human-like since the days when Clippy asked if you needed help with your documents. These assistants are intended to make programs and apps easier to use, but research suggests that human-like virtual assistants may actually deter some people from seeking help on tasks that are supposed to measure achievement. Our survivors have told me many times that hate starts small, and it grows when your neighbors, workmates and friends ignore and do nothing. Hate triumphs when intolerance and prejudice become ingrained across an entire society, from the pages of newspapers to the halls of government, from schools to boardrooms. We've been training fewer teachers in recent years while the population has been increasing and a very large cohort of teachers, the baby boomer teachers, are nearing retirement. So all three of those things have converged to create what I think is going to be an even greater problem in coming years to what it is now. So we've got a lot of work to do a very rapid catch up.
For example, students might try to enroll for the free year despite having previously studied and therefore being ineligible. The report said the government held no records of study from before 2003 in order to verify eligibility, meaning it would have to rely on students' declarations. The current law, which enables employers to fire new staff within the first 90 days without giving a reason and without facing legal action for unfair dismissal, was introduced in 2009. Under the new law, the 90-day trial will remain as it is for businesses with fewer than 20 employees. Larger businesses will still be able to use the 90-day trial as a probationary period but with greater protections for employees. The so-called continuing resolution keeps the government funded until 8 February in the hope that Congress can reach a longer-term budget agreement in the meantime. Thousands of federal employees who had been placed on temporary, unpaid leave since Saturday breed a sigh of relief.
fire crews have worked through the night trying to control a number of bushfires burning in Western Australia's southwest. The department upgraded the alert level from watch and act to emergency and advised residents to take necessary steps to ensure their safety. Conditions there have eased overnight and the spread of the blaze has slowed. The firefighting effort will be reassessed at first light. The government is still not sure whether its alternative idea for the Auckland's America's Cup village is viable. A week out from the start of the planning approval process, Auckland Council is seeking approval to build eight bases across three walls, but the government was in favour of focusing on the semi-industrial Wynyard Point to lessen the extension wars. If the dream is to turn this pond fringe corner hanging into a tourist trip comparable to Florida's Bonnie Space Coast, there is still a lot to do. Several idle building sites suggest that some investors have gambled rashly. Signs have been taken down from a patch of scrub that was once earmarked for an amusement center.
Our field teams have come across fish in distress or even eels stranded and it is simply that the waters got too hot. Often dissolved oxygen concentrations go down as water temperature increases and animals may seek refuge outside the water, or in fact they may be stranded if the water's evaporating very quickly. A miner in the state of Chiopas found a tiny tree frog that has been preserved in amber for 25 million years. A researcher said, if authenticated, the preserved frog would be the first of its kind found in Mexico, according to David Grimaldi, a biologist and curator at the American Museum of Natural History, who was not involved in the find. Scientists have determined that the atmosphere above the planet Uranus is full of a gas that makes the distant planet smell like rotten eggs, according to NASA. A global research team dissected infrared light from Uranus and found hydrogen sulfide in the planet's top clouds. Hydrogen sulfide is a colorless, flammable, extremely hazardous gas with a rotten egg smell according to the Occupational Health Safety Administration.
It has been 200 years since the birth of Karl Marx, but the German philosopher's relevance has never been greater. The publication of Marx and Friedrich Engels' The Communist Manifesto in 1840 it was not greeted with great fanfare, a reception unbecoming what is now considered the most influential political pamphlet of all time. Ministers have rehearsed for the Queen's death for the first time with a secret exercise to prepare for ten days of national mourning. It has emerged. The run-through, apparently known as Castle Dove, saw cabinet ministers and Whitehall officials discuss D1 the day after the monarch's death. Japan's parliament tightened limits on overtime hours, responding to concerns about karashi, or death by overwork, and seeking to improve productivity in a country where long hours are more accustomed than business necessity.
does it feel like everywhere you turn there's more food? Fast food joints like McDonald's and Taco Bell abound. And big box stores like Costco, Walmart and Target sell mounds of groceries. Just the slightest pang of hunger and around the corner there's another restaurant or retailer enticing us to buy more food. This will just take a minute. We all know money can't buy happiness. But according to a recent study, there may be a loophole. A team of researchers finds that shelling out for services that save time can bring greater feelings of life satisfaction than, say, simply buying more stuff. The results appear in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Researchers gathered 160 uncaffeinated adults, people who consumed less than 500 milligrams of caffeine a week. These decaf subjects looked at pictures of various objects, then took the placebo, or a pill containing 200 milligrams of caffeine. That's roughly the amount you'd get from two cups of coffee.
Such an agreement would include recognition that the world must aim as soon as possible to hold global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, a long-term low-carbon future. Five-year updated action plans that recognize the developing climate reality and aid to those countries that did little to cause climate change but are most at risk from it. Studying abroad is a very popular option for students who come from a wealthy family. Most people believe that overseas experience provides a deeper understanding of cultures and develops communication skills. While this may be true, not all of these new experiences are useful for finding a job. Employers tend to value interpersonal skills and industry knowledge more than cultural background. Britain, then, as slower to create and develop a police force than the rest of Europe. France had one long before indeed, the word police is taken from the French. This fact was not an important, as the very idea of a police force was seen as foreign that is, French and particularly undesirable, and was generally regarded as a form of oppression.
food is one of the most important things you'll ever buy. And yet most people never bother to think about their food and where it comes from. People spend a lot more time worrying about what kind of blue jeans to wear, what kind of video games to play, what kind of computers to buy. The term supernova was coined in the 1930s by a memorably odd astrophysicist named Fritz Zwicky. Born in Bulgaria and raised in Switzerland, Zwicky came to the California Institute of Technology in the 1920s and there as once distinguished himself by his abrasive personality and erratic talents. He didn't seem to be outstandingly bright, and many of his colleagues considered him little more than an irritating buffoon.